an interesting look at how this all began. But that was then. And now we're into the 21st century. Times change. And along with change, often improvement comes along for the ride. From bucket brigades to horse-drawn fire pumpers. Well, the horses have been retired for close to a century now. But just like the Model A gave way to the current bevy of automotive choices, so too fire trucks have made light years of improvements. Right now we're going to visit with Lieutenant Joseph Bryant as he shows us one of Cobb County's newest fire pumpers. Thanks, Norm. As you can see, we're standing in front of uh, Station 28 here in Ackworth, Georgia. And we're going to take a minute and just go inside and, and take a look at the engine uh, housed here. Come on, let's go. Here at Cobb County, we have 29 of these Pierce fire engines. And we're going to take an opportunity to, to speak to John, um, the driver of this truck, and uh, just go over a few things of this apparatus. Hey, John. Hey, Joseph. How are you doing today? Maybe you can show us a, a few things about this uh, fire truck, other than it being just a big red truck. Okay. Well, this is a 2008 Pierce Velocity pumper. This is the, uh, what we call the driver's area, which controls all the emergency operations. For instance, the lights and sirens also operates the pump itself and uh, driving it down the road. Basically, who gets to drive this vehicle? Well, engineers do, like myself, and if we're off, then we have a firefighter who's been trained to also operate this uh, vehicle. Yeah, look, it kind of looks like a, a cockpit in there. Uh, how fast will this, this truck go? Uh, it's governed at 75 miles an hour due to the weight of the vehicle. All right, well, let's, uh, let's take an opportunity. We'll step back here and look at the primary function of the, of the fire truck, the, the pump panel, how the water comes out. This is our pump panel. Water goes in through the intakes and we read the gauges to see how much water we have. At this point we use the valves here to discharge water, like for instance the number one discharge comes out the number one valve and that's what we use to pump to the fire itself where the firefighters are at. Okay, so, so it just hooks straight to the hydrant, water goes in, comes out. That's right, and we also carry additional 750 gallons of water on the truck itself that we can use. All right, very simple. What, what's this next compartment here, John? This compartment is what we call driver's side storage compartment. We store our gear in here. We also have the electrical panel uh, that we use for the generator to control uh, scene lights as well as uh, lights that we need inside of a house. We okay. can add power. This, uh, this next compartment is... A few assortment of items here. What uh, we have we rope, for instance, life life safety rope, utility rope. We have water rescue rope. We have an Indian can, which is uh, a backpack water supply for putting out small woods fires or grass fires. Foam adductors and additional tool kits. Okay. This uh, this back compartment. Uh, mm -hmm. Some uh, some interesting. Uh, 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 there is. This is uh, appliances that we use on the end of the hose, which lets us direct the stream to a fire. And that's what these different appliances do, whether or not it's large gallons of water that we need to flow or smaller gallons of water. And then we also have extrication tools. Uh, for instance, a lot of people know them as Jaws of Life, and this brand happens to be the, our homothro tools that we use. Yeah, and we're, we're going to uh, take an opportunity to, to look at this extrication equipment a little more in depth in some of the uh, future episodes. Okay. Well, let's take a look at the back of the pumper. All right. Now that we're on the uh, back side of the truck, John, what are we looking at back here? Well, this is what we call the hose bed. We carry a three inch hose line, which is our supply line. We carry 2,000 feet of that. And what is, exactly is a supply line? Supply line uh, lets water go from the hydrant to the pumper. Okay. And then we also carry our attack line, which is the hose that would basically go from the pumper to the firefighter to take into the house. And we carry inch and three quarter and we have two 200 foot sections right here. Now, about, about how, how much of that hose do you have up there? I mean, Well, two pumpers can almost lay a mile's worth of hose with just the supply line. Yeah, that's, a lot, that's a lot of hose. So. It really is. All right. Well, let's, uh, let's step around the side. We'll look on the, uh, the right side to see what uh, is on this side. Okay. Now that we're on the uh, right side of the vehicle, John, what is this first compartment that we're looking at? This is our EMS compartment. In here we carry basic first aid equipment, for instance, oxygen and ways to administer it. We also have what we call basic life support bag, which we use for patient assessment, BP cuffs, bandaging, IV fluids, things like that. Yeah, and, and just looking at this compartment, it really is just basic medical supplies for, for calls that we run for it emergency is, calls. It is. All right. Uh, this, this little uh, device here is a, an AED. Maybe you can explain to us what that is exactly. It's an automatic external defibrillator. It's what we use to shock the heart to get it restarted in when, uh, when it quits beating. Okay. 
let's uh, we'll step over here to the, uh, the the next compartment, and uh, maybe you can uh, just explain briefly what we what do we have here. Well, these are our hand tools that we use for firefighting and rescue operations. We have uh, bolt cutters, axes for cutting. We have ceiling hooks that we can use to pull ceiling in a fire situation to get access to uh, hidden fires. All right, so we can do some damage with those. Oh yeah. All right. This, uh, this next compartment is also uh, interesting. We have several saws and, and different items here. Uh, maybe explain to us what we're looking at. This is a, what we call K K-12, which is similar to a circular saw that we can use through, for cutting through metals. We have a regular chainsaw that would be used for cutting wood, trees, things like that. And then, of course, we have our positive pressure fan, which is gas-operated fan. Now, th now, this is more than just a fan. It's, it's got a, a vital function that we use for firefighting. Uh, explain to us what we use this for. This is used to remove smoke and heat conditions from a fire in order for us to better be able to search a house for a victim or to fight fire. It's uh, very essential in our progress making it into a house. All right, very good. Now, I noticed as we were uh, walking around that uh, right above us we have uh, several ladders. Uh, tell us exactly what we carry as far as the lengths and what types. Well, we carry a 24-foot extension ladder, we carry a 12-foot roof ladder, and we also carry a a uh, 10-foot attic ladder which folds open so that we can have access to scuttle holes. Yeah, and I, I know that, that that's got easy access so it just uh, it does. It lowers right down so we can take them right off the truck. Exactly. All right. Now, now this section looks very similar to the other except for without all the valves and gauges. What are we looking at here? This is the back side of the pump and this is the main supply uh, hose that we use to feed water into the pump on the back side. This is a 5-inch diameter which produces a lot of gallons into the pump itself and that's where the, this water enters. Okay, so it, whether, no matter what side the hydrant's on, you can hook up over here or hook up over there. Absolutely. And then uh, now we're back to the cab, and, and basically what are we looking at inside here? Uh, this is the pasture compartment. It has seating for five with air packs built into the seat that we can use to breathe in the fire situation. We normally have uh, uh, four individuals on a truck, it could, but minimum staffing is three, and that's, this is where everybody rides and has a seat and can be belted in. Well, I really appreciate you uh, taking the opportunity and showing us the truck. It was uh, very informative and, and really enjoyed that, John. You're welcome, Joseph. All right. We want to thank you for joining us on a uh, tour of Engine 28 today. And in future episodes, we're going to be looking at uh, tools and equipment that uh, we carry on this truck so you can truly see them in action. Looks like they got a call. We finished just in time. Back to you, Norm. Thanks, Joe. And even though the fire pumper is one of the most common and easily recognized pieces of fire equipment in the fire service, we'll look forward to getting better acquainted with more fire equipment in future shows. Now, I bet you didn't know it, but you probably have a very important piece of fire apparatus right in your own home. We'll take a look at that after the break.